few minutes presentations for every team that uh, joined the hackathon. Every team got a body, they're all lined up over here, and there's a little indoor navigation course that they're going to try to complete. We'll follow you guys, we'll follow with the live stream so you guys can follow along. And uh, start by handing over to the first presenters. Hey, Harold, no one's in yet. Maybe we should wait. We give them like 30 seconds oh, sure. to move over to this one. Okay, yeah. We can just wait for people to roll in. Yeah. Do you want me to uh, post on something or something? Uh, maybe you can reply to the Twitter. Oh, we got our first person. There's, there's 44 people waiting. So. Uh, I, I can add everyone on Discord. Okay. okay. But they can replay back to the beginning, right? Yeah, but I mean, okay. people want to watch live. Live experience. <laughs> I mean, we have 40 in the other one, too. Yeah, yeah. We didn't, we thank you guys all for coming. Wait, you really couldn't get this one to work? No. It gets on the unable to create stream. All right, I'll just delete your announcement and okay. do another one. Sounds good. All right, the people are starting to roll in. Let's give them, like, maybe 30 I'll seconds. I'll handle the Twitter one, too. What's Twitter? Well, I tweeted it. Sounds like the Discord Where's just went up. Where is Hots? <laughs> no, I'm right here, guys. Right here. I'm joining the live stream. Are you in there? <laughs> <laughs> right, we're ready? Yeah, let's okay, do it. Go ahead. All right. Uh, so I guess we're a team. Is this our team name? Church of End to End? Yeah. Okay. So we're a team Church of End to End. <laughs> Uh, initially, I wanted to do LLM control, but uh, that is pretty hard, so you'll see the guy that tried to do that later. Uh, but then we were like, okay, might as well just try to do complete end to end. So we started running around with the comma body on a stick and then getting a video of when you have to turn left, right, and go straight. And then, uh, yeah, basically just tried to get that to work. And run. So, with some latent space painting? Yeah, yeah. The, this technique can best be described as painting the latent space, where we, we walk around and we essentially tell it at every point where to, whether we need to go to the left, forward, or right. And it has to be completely manually labeled. And for every single, for every new environment or lighting change, you need new data. So that's like the one downside. But we did manage to get it at least running from here to the back corner, and then from the back corner to the outside and do the loop. But we have not gotten them both to work in series, so we're, I think we're just going to do the first half today. Uh, yeah, I've got this video of uh, you know, great artist steal. Uh, the first person to finish the challenge coming. Kind of, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess we can do it with jump as well. Video of the end, I guess. Uh, oh yeah, we have a video. I guess we'll show the video at the end because it's not going to work right now. So this is like about ten minutes of just running around and trying to paint the living space that the. Direction you want to go is right everywhere. Yeah. Alright, with that, I think we'll jump into this demo. And uh, disclaimer is I don't actually know if this is the model that worked. This is the one time that we didn't get this to work. So. Harold, I think we should do an overview of what the course actually is first. I think none of the people on the stream have seen this. Oh, yeah, we can uh, maybe just quickly run with the uh, streamers. Yeah, let's do a walkthrough first. Yeah, let's do it. And then do you want to redo your intro? I know a lot of people joined after. Yeah, sure. We can talk about it through the intro. So let's just walk through the course here. So we start somewhere in our office, and it's a small indoor navigation challenge. So the bodies have to navigate through this hallway. 
go all the way through, all the way to the end. As you can see, the first part's just straight, so it's not that much of a challenge. Uh, but there's a, there's a, a gradient that becomes harder and harder <laughs> as you turn. Now you see the narrowing doorways. Um, yeah, so every team that came to the hackathon was provided with a body, and uh, over the last, you know, 48 hours or something like that, a little, little bit. To go outside, you go over these ramps over here, so you still got smooth terrain, and then the challenge really starts to ramp up. A lot of the teams had difficulty here with the changing lighting conditions throughout the day and night. So we got to turn around, turn around the traffic cone, and then finally this is the end of the course. So if any team succeeds, this is uh, what you'll see them do. And I guess we'll head back in for the demo of the first guys. Yeah, sorry, it seems like we lost the stream there for a second outside, but basically you just have to uh, head out, go around some cone, and uh, end on an X on the ground. And uh, that's it. All right, we'll be back here in a second, see the first attempt of uh, Luigi trying to do this course. Adib, you want to take back the stream? Yo, I get this much time that you got. We're trapped. It's over. Are we ready for our first try? Recover? It should. Oh. 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 Play, I guess, right. <laughs> Six out of 12. No, no, no. Oh, no. That's the light. Is it going to recover? Oh, it could. It does want to go to the right. <laughs> let's get in there. Let's get in there. It's making so much noise. It's, it's gonna get there. It's gonna get there. Oh my god. Come on, Luigi. Oh. He knows where to go, though. That's the important part. He knows where he wants to go. She's not backing up enough. Yeah. Just like FSD. <laughs> <laughs> it's so close. It's like one inch. Oh! oh. I'm oh. Oh. <laughs> That's all, all right. It's all over. All right, let's get back. So that was Luigi from the Church of End to End. Oh, I did it. I did it. Oh, did it. so you still trying? Oh, whoa. It's stuck again. It's stuck again. Oh. I don't think it'll work fast here. That was anticlimactic. <laughs> this needs uh, 10 more tries. No, no, it is go it's, it's, it's going to do it this time. Ah. Oh, you never got it to back up more than this. You just need to increase your backup time. It, it, it didn't make a difference for some reason. Mm. Oh. Okay. Last one. Mm. <laughs> Whoa! No! <laughs> uh, I don't think it'll 
both go much better than this. Uh, All right. Let's this call was, it. This was before the outdoor data, I think. Let's give them a cap. All right, let's see the next contestant. Going out for the other, the other perspective? No, no, we ended that run. <laughs> I don't see the trade on it. doing it. What is, what is this? Uh, they might be carrying it. No, no, no. Oh, he's helping. Yeah, they're helping it. Yeah. I think let's move on. All right, let's move on. That was right. Luigi. Let me, let me oh, yeah. do a bit, of a, a bit of an intro for new people. Just how many people we got on the street? 48. 48 world people. <laughs> they have everyone. Should I go live on Twitch? <laughs> um, all right, all right, all right. We'll have the, we'll have the... They're asking if you're asleep. <laughs> Am I asleep? No, I'm on Taiwan time. It's Taiwan morning right now. It's early in the Taiwan morning. Okay. Uh, so this is kind of hack four. Um... I didn't do anything. I just showed up. I'm kind of a participant. Uh, these are the bodies. Uh, you can buy them in the comma shop. Uh, they're all topped by beautiful comma three X's, also available in the comma shop. Almost not even on back order anymore. Uh, these things can do things for the first time in history. We were too ambitious when we first launched the body. When we first launched the body, we thought it was going to balance on two wheels. That was too much. Now, it has training wheels. And it's much more reliable at driving around office parks. And what we're doing here is we're navigating around an office park. So what you're seeing is people trying to navigate from here around a loop in the combo office back to here. Or around that sign or something. Yes. Mm -hmm. Halfway. Halfway is place. good too. But <laughs> yeah, avoid the walls. Walls are bad. Uh, so if you watch, you know, if you're watching at home, if you hit a wall, it's bad. They're saying they don't really hear the people up front. I guess we can get closer. Uh, and then uh, Mike, you're next. Yeah, cool. Let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go. Yeah. 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 You're not going to touch it, but <laughs> well, we should close it. Well, you can't close it for one run and not the other one. Yeah, that's, no, that's fair. Right. Everyone gets open gym door. Oh. <laughs> that's fine. We're going to go to the bathroom. We didn't go to the bathroom. We're back in the second. Yeah, I did. We drove to the bathroom on its own. Yes. Um, you can check out my code's open source now, too. Oh, good. Are you going to demo yours as well, George? Yeah, demo it. You got it. Does it work uh, with all lighting conditions? <laughs> or we'll find out. <laughs> At night, it did a full autonomous loop. That's all I know. I see. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for participating with me. I met a lot of cool people here. I'm having a great time. <laughs> and I want to show you guys what I came up with. So, this is Leon. Napoleon, as uh, I got assigned, <laughs> and we've been having a great time, me and Napoleon. Uh, he became my, my good buddy. He follows me around, he gives me space when I need it, he records when I need him to, and he's my companion. So I'm going to take him for a tour around the office. The way, the way Napoleon works is he just finds the biggest person in his field of view, and he <laughs> follows that person around. <laughs> and so that person, sorry, is going to be me. And we're going to go for a walk. I'm going to set him up. And yeah, let's do this. Now, while we make our way through here, try and not make yourself look big. All right? <laughs> <laughs> just, just for this one part. The rest will be we'll just fine. Just like we practice, all right? 
Got this? <laughs> okay. We're gonna go around here. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Just follow me. Yeah, just ignore them. Ignore them. Yeah, we got this. Let's go. Let's go. That's right. That's right. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, guys. Eye contact. Don't even. No, no, no. You keep coming. Do not turn your head. No. I know. I know. Listen, it's me. All right. It's me. Come on. This way. Over here. Oh. Yeah, Napoleon, I'm going to give you a little hand just because. There we go. All right. I'm second. tiny. Look, I'm a little guy. I'm, I'm big. I'm little. I'm big. Come on. Let's go, Napoleon. No. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yeah, now we're now we're out of the trouble zone. Oh <laughs> Look, I'm gonna spawn him. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Let's go, you follow me. Touch that. Perfect. All right, a full loop. Great. Thanks, Napoleon. Good job. Buddy. All right, we've got a good number of people in the stream now. Yeah, welcome, everyone who's new. Just had two of the teams present. Uh, who was next? Do we have uh, someone time to be next? Is anyone ready? Yeah, if you're ready, let's, let's do it. We're ready, though. Let's start doing the cool thing. Both of you, both of you it's risky. It's, it's risky. very risky. Yeah. Untested blow. Yeah. Yeah. Sitting right there. Yeah, tweaking the. Yeah, man, it's all good. It's got on it. Yeah, I'm just sure you're adding a version of. Right, the yeah, and then we can show the desk. Sure. Yeah, the the streamers. I don't know if there's some way to fix that. I don't know if there's Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
Anyway, so how we build this? Um, um, okay. So this is uh, <coughs> the architecture we used to. Uh, so we take the data from camera, we convert it to RGB, and then we feed it to the uh, segment and NSM model. Uh, we use mobile version, uh, which is a bit cheaper. Uh, and then we give uh, the floor plan mm -hmm. into custom models that we build and train here on the spot, which we call the rector, and that is how it is uh, left, right, and forward. And so this is the architecture. We started with YOLO uh, running on the laptop. Uh, uh, we didn't have time to move it to the device, so right now it's a little bit experimental, but that's uh, how it uh, works. Uh, essentially, all the data is received in the main thread. Uh, we moved the inference into a separate thread. Uh, the reason for that is that the inference uh, is still it's lower than real time, so we need to drop some frames. For that reason, we basically just the process the latest frame and drop the rest of the overhead to it, and we speed our control messages as, uh, as we go. And uh, we also built a little bit to, to aid with the train, and also build a little bit, build a little bit of uh, telnet interface. We use telnet to just because um, member PC client is a little bit. Bit slow. Wait, like actual Telnet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Telnet, I mean, like, socket server. Oh, yeah, I haven't seen anyone use Telnet. No, no, like, I mean, we use, uh, the fact that it has more. Yeah, I got my, I got my 288 modem. Got a Telnet somewhere. Yeah, but you can use it. Uh, but it's pretty, pretty useful because uh, right, right now we can uh, basically just uh, do. We started with fully manual run, so basically we gave it comments and uh, it recorded all data and uh, automatically labeled, so basically we didn't have to label anything. Uh, but once it got uh, a little bit running, we also added like a run mode and step mode. So in run mode is basically just uh, runs, runs in front. In step mode it basically runs it once and then pauses wait for the common and it's another inference and so on. Uh, and also we can, uh, in the real time, send it, uh, even when it's in the run mode, we can send it uh, correction command. So if we see that it goes some uh, wrong direction, we can AVD it, and uh, it will be reported, and we then can amend the data set and train it uh, this way, uh, improving the model. Okay, uh, so resource utilization, it's pretty good. I mean, we can probably run it on the device if we have more time. So we use, uh, right now, for those two models, we use uh, about 15 units of RAM, 10% uh, of uh, 1050 i which is my laptop GPU, uh, and uh, it could be optimized more. Uh, we get about 5 of chaos, but I think it's mostly because of the latency. Um, not really, um, I do not get time to uh, work on the performance of it. There are some videos of this RAM. Uh, it's okay, uh, it's a little bit slow, well, mostly because uh, it runs in the laptop, so it could uh, uh, have to wait for that. So basically, yeah, in the back end, it's just, uh, just the lanes, as in like the ground part of the HCP navigate, and then the page is small neural network, which it is first right, left, or right. So most likely, since it's more of right, right, it kind of follows, tries to follow the left wall. And yep, that's the reason. But it's slow sometimes, it gets strong. That's kind of a steady thing. Cool. Okay, that's our presentation. All right. Did you want to do a demo as well? Do you want to try um, this? We can do a short, but I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. Uh, Network advanced. I think the best direction. I can put a flip it. Okay. So I think right now it's in the step mode. You guys got to speak up. They can't hear okay, anything. Right now it's in the step mode, so we can move it on. Yes. Is that? 
Alright, there it goes. You know, I guess for turning left, uh, it actually should be the other way. <laughs> Is he gonna get stuck? <laughs> Right, we'll give it one more attempt. If it hits the wall again, we'll have to see if uh, Todd has recovered. Don't do it! I know it's tempting! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The wall thumbs wouldn't stop me. Bob's a real slow and steady. Uh, <laughs> it's a little bit bubble. Slow and steady guy. <laughs> Give it the <a> slow. <laughs> Conservative. Let's we'll get to the next checkpoint at least. Yeah, well, let, well, let's see what it does to this checkpoint. You know, so the difference with the hitting the wall is the other two runs, the body's recovered. If it recovers on its own, that's fine. Yeah. I tried, I don't think it would recover once it is so Yeah, yeah no, I was answering, there's a we comment about... Yeah. 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 There was idea to put, uh, I guess, uh, I guess, 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 Right. And remember to talk towards the camera. <clears throat> they can Keep hear you. Voice up. Yeah. I know it's been a long weekend. This team's got Clay Thompson. Oh, you guys are running the other way? Yeah, we're running backwards. Right, we've got a backwards team. <laughs> oh, nice. What was the reason for that? The camera's better. Oh, you guys didn't like the uh, infrared camera view? No. Or are you guys using the narrow cam? Uh, no, we used the white one. Just... Wait, they're the exact same. Uh... No, no, yeah. everything was red. No, sure. But... The red's they said it was disgusting looking. Yeah. But they said it wasn't the IR. I know, just like look at the camera a little bit, like from both cameras, I kind of like the rare one more. It is so. cool, the other one can see at night. Yeah, I think it works better at night because the lighting's consistent. The other one works far better. Alright. I remember to be loud. Yeah, very loud, very loud. Uh, let's see, alright, I'll just introduce ourselves. I'm Bo. I'm Cole. I'm Cole. Edgar. And then... Oh, sorry guys, one sec. There's a comment that says if we flip it, it'll sound a lot better. Let's try that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's wrong. Rotate the ball in. Okay. Okay. Someday we'll have a good stream. Isn't that professional right. tripod? Uh, nice. We can, <laughs> we can even see ourselves. Is it better? Uh, you're out of frame. Oh, I'm out of frame. I don't want to block this. Or I guess it's nice. Let's just check for whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, um, so yeah, Cole, do you want to give them a brief description of our like, Sure. Approach? Yeah, so for our approach, uh, we went with an end-to-end -end learning approach. We're using the efficient net model. The initial starting out, we tried to hard code the path because uh, that seemed quite easy. Um, 
what we learned a challenge was two things. One, there's a lot of latency on the office uh, internet, and so that skews the commands that we're actually sending to the robot and uh, basically caused it to go off course. Um, after that, we quickly corrected and moved towards a end-to-end -end neural network, um, and I'll let Edgar talk about the training, how we collected the data, and then... Uh, <coughs> Oh, uh, so we basically try to like to um, we label the data set. We like carry the, the robot like along the way, so it's like facing left, and then try to correct it so it goes back to the right side. And um, we try to like to control it with a with a joystick in like this way label data set, but it was kind of worse because we had a lot of majority of the class being just go forward. So we ended up just like having uh, like face making robot like face left, carried forward and make it the left class and just do the same for right and forward. So this way it kind of had like balanced data for training. Um, well, for the training it's pretty like simple, just efficient at B0, we'll resize like input to 224, so have like grayscale scale images fed to network. And we tried a bunch of augmentations like dropping out, like changing saturation, like contrast, stuff like that, so you know. And yeah, it kind of made it a little better. So that's pretty much like the, the training part. Yeah, I guess just last stuff. Uh, implemented some like kind of cool features to help with testing and iteration, like uh, engage disengage buttons, um, fast loading without having to restart the the comma, um, and oh yeah, and then uh, loading the model on the device so to get around latency issues. All right, yeah. The model is running on the device. Yeah, so we are oh, yeah. running uh, natively on the yeah. device. We took the Onyx model and then converted it to the TH need format. Um, which is allows us to use the GPU of the comma, um, and so and do you want yeah. to switch back to, like, to the uh, stream. Yeah. So yeah, the mo I just started the model, and then uh, when I press the C and E keys, it yeah, we added like two extra keys on the monitor. You can see the E and C. <laughs> Basically, when I'm like debugging, like we press the E, and then the AI like engages, and like we press the C and disengages. So oh, it's cool, kind of like cool. convenient. Right, How did you switch the camera? Uh, we we swapped the web app to use a different stream. Yeah, I mean it's pretty easy to do that. And to train. It has recovery though. It has recovery. Oh, it has recovery. Yeah, should do something soon. All right. Oh, okay. Nice. A sharp turn. Whoa. Solid. <laughs> now things getting a little funky, but YouTube says you're the best team yet. So it'll I recover. Just, out it'll, of this. Oh, it'll, it'll be fine. Just give it a time. Okay. Nice. Nice. Why doesn't it just do it right the first time? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, solid. Wow. That was kind of the tricky part because we had all the uh, data set pretty balanced, but it still like has a bias toward the left side. So, mm. yeah, you mu multiply the right probability by 1.1. 1. 1. <laughs> <laughs> it, it goes to the gym, yeah. This, this, this all right, is the Should we show off the gym on YouTube? It wants to go to the gym. All right, I'll show the gym. Is it gonna recover? Out of that, yeah. All right, let's give it a chance to recover. Well, no, but we should show the gym on oh. YouTube while we remember this is all an ad. All right. Let's uh, show the gym. Well, while Clay's hanging out, I mean, he's got a <laughs> basketball jersey on. Clearly, where he wants to be is the comma gym. We have weights and bigger weights and a treadmill at the comma gym and where Clay wants to be. I think it's done. <laughs> yeah, let's call it. All right, that's what we made it to. All right. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah. I actually yeah. see like yeah. it's it's not like stuff. more like a video. Yeah. Does it sound better turned around, guys? No. Do you want to close? Oh, yeah. All right, who's next? Oh, we can go next. All right, yeah, let's do it. Good. Should we use your laptop? Yes. Okay. Wait, I'm just going to do a quick check of who's left. All right, got three, three left after the current team. All right, they say it's better. Yeah, yeah, no, he's uh he's had a fun past few days. So um but yeah, our team was none other than the great Julius Caesar in the flesh, or in the metal, I guess. Um and then our approach, we tried a whole bunch of different things, but what we settled on doing was doing an end-to-end -end model, but, but instead of just using the like raw color data, we do a depth estimation with just an off-the-shelf network and then do end-to-end -end on the depth estimation. Um, we originally wanted to just do kind of like a traditional 2D slam with the depth estimation. So you could take like a horizontal slice or something like that and then map out the building. Um, but that was, you know, less trivial than we thought it was. Um, so we ended up just kind of doing this end to end. So you can see the real time color video there on the left and then the depth here. Um, and then we just kind of run that through the model. Uh, we kind of did the normal end to end training routine where you you know, get some good training examples where it's kind of facing forward, some where you carry it and it's like facing left, some where you carry it and it's facing right. And that worked like decently well. Uh, we were able to get from like checkpoint zero to checkpoint one uh, somewhat consistently. Maybe it'll struggle with all these people in the room, we'll see. But since we have the depth data, there's a lot of potential for augmentations and stuff. So you can take the depth and you know where you're facing and then you can sh translate the camera to the left, to the right. Uh, and do all these things like this. So here's kind of a demo of that. It's also invariant to the time of day. Yes. So that's another big benefit is that lots of people struggle where like they get all their training data at night and then it doesn't work in the day. Uh, the idea here is like, you know, the depth estimators train on both daytime and nighttime <coughs> images. Why is so, it like wobbling? So this is us trying to augment the data. So we took one picture and then we're using the depth data, projecting it into 3D, moving the camera and then reprojecting it back into a, li a little image. bit like the Stuff yeah, yeah. So, uh, that's a little bit of some issues. No yeah. need to talk. No need to point it out. It's too tiny for you to see from all the way back there. Yes, exactly. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Looks familiar. Yeah, looks familiar. Yeah. Uh, sadly, we're not. So since we're running two models, we're like almost like really you know, causing this GPU to, to struggle. So moving it onto device is definitely doable, but we just haven't done it yet. Okay. All right, should we demo it? And then the model itself uh, for our end-to-end -end is just a ResNet 50. And then the depth estimator is just like the top depth est est estimator on Huggy Face. So is this the demo? Yeah. Here we go. Okay, maybe get All right, well, good start. Yeah, I'll see. Yeah, it's never seen this many people before. So. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nah, it's over. Is it gonna recover? Oh. All right. Recovery? No, no recovery. I guess we'll standardize one manual recovery. Yeah, one manual recovery. Is fine. <laughs> just for entertainment. All right. Yeah, it's just being a little bit faster. When it's more confident, it goes faster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it for Julius Caesar. All right. All right, let's give it up for that team. Right, and then we've got uh, three more teams. Yeah, go ahead. Already? Uh, yeah. It should be, yeah. Great. Right. Yeah. That's, that's what's up. Uh, did you want to reset that cone outside? Oh, yeah. yeah. That'd be great. We're planning to get that car. You want to do it, or do you want me to do it? We're making it outside. I'll run up here. <laughs> <laughs> that's ambitious. Ambitious. I wouldn't even do it outside. Uh, they're just resetting the cone. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay.
trajectories to follow the line, uh, the desired center path more closely, and then use that to train an efficient net, net classifier um, to then predict the action based on uh, images. And then, Aman, do you want to explain the... And yeah, and so what we started by, uh, by doing is like mapping the office. So we use the, the iPhone LiDAR to get a 3D scan, mm -hmm. and as well as the floor plan. Uh, and then from that, we train a simple PID to get the to get some uh, trajectories. Yeah, I saw that. True. So yeah, that's yeah. the Blender project. We did import like basically just a quick scan with LiDAR. Uh, and then I tried to add some artificial lights that basically at the same spot. Of you guys want to be a little bit? Could you play the keyframes? Yeah, yeah, I'll play it. Looks like this. Yeah, and then yeah. 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 there is also an animation it's like we made. Uh, okay, so that's the kind of trajectories that we created. Maybe you want to explain how we created it? Yeah, just a simple PID following the line. And so then we just uh, put those trajectories into Blender and move the camera around. And then from those images, we predict the output of the PID, which is just the steering to the robot. And that's, uh, yeah, that's basically it. And... Do you want to show the images? Um, yeah, just the PID is like... Uh, Basically, we took the floor plan and we draw a path and then we tune a PID to follow it. Uh, and then, yeah, using this matching with Blender, we match like a pair of images and action and train a CNMR. Yeah. Uh, should we go for a demo? Oh, do you want to show uh, the other images? No, the, the filtering as well. Uh, it was also kind of difficult to get good trajectory using only a PID. We initially wanted to train some reinforcement learning, but it was a bit too short. And so what we ended up trying to do is, uh, can we go to the picture? Was that all about a picture or the back? Uh, oh yeah, that's, that's important. That's, <laughs> we matched the images in Blender to the images from the camera, obviously. That, that's, a fake, that's a simulated picture. There's it's like a simulated the, picture, but. So it has Blender on top yeah. of the actual yeah. real image. Uh, it's like to compare uh, the, yeah. the, the images. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So we like uh, use the camera calibration and warped the images to match the, the fisheye of the, the camera. Yeah, and then we also have augmentations for the actual image, so like color tinting and everything. So it looks ends up looking really similar. Yeah. Do you have a picture of it, just a full simulated? Uh, maybe full. somewhere on the... Uh, you know what I'm saying, right? Just the screenshot of a yeah, simulated yeah. frame with all the... Oh. Like matching augmentation. Uh, uh, augmentation we don't have, but we... Oh, yeah. Probably yeah. like the fisheye and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is in a very the random check yeah. stuff. Yeah, I didn't see Blender up with the fisheye like realistic. Yeah, basically, yeah, that's the issue. We do it like yeah. after Blender also, for like uh, compute reason because it's too slow in Blender, and also like we don't know what model they, they use. To, Are yeah. you guys like training network purely on the Blender images, or there's a real images like mixing? No, ju just the the Blender images. And it like, like translates. Yeah, just pretty like pretty well. Yeah, we'll find we'll out. Find out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll find out. <laughs> I just know. Yeah, and yeah. So yeah. with okay. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah, so with Blender, we can sample a lot more trajectories. We have two hundred thousand images, and we also sample uh, along like in different locations, kind of skewed away from the path, and have it uh, conjoined back to the path, and then we stop it. So um, actually. We should have had the distribution of the of the predicted actions, but most of the time it's predicting left and right because we don't want it to be following the path, and that's not very useful. So we stop it after a certain amount of time, and then we have it sample a different location and the PID to get a lot of different trajectories, so it can recover quite well. Yeah. Can I see the demo. Yeah. 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 Cool. Okay. Yeah, they already did. Oh, do you want to 
They want to know if it's all running on the device. Oh, I started it. Yes, yeah, it's, it's running cool. on the device with also identity with Onyx and uh, th so running on GQ. All right. Pretty smooth so far. Uh, it's pretty good. <laughs> Let's Oh, you recovered. Stressful. Oh, YouTube says you guys got off to a very clean start. Let's hope it stays that way. Yeah. The gym so seems to be the next uh, checkpoint. Yeah, yeah. We have a few, a few points. Everything is okay. Everything is okay. It's uh, often tempted to go to the gym too. I think let's hang out here because it cuts out around the bathrooms and then if it goes around. We'll go there. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Oh, nice. Turn? No, no, so passing the X isn't bad. The X's are just checkpoints. Oh, no. He just wants to go back inside. Nice job, Spike. Congratulations. Best run so far. YouTube agrees. YouTube agrees. Yeah. Great. That was good. Yeah. 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 All right. Nice work. So we got two more teams. Uh, Chat PID, are we good to go? Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> ben Swolo is ready. Please give chat Ben Swolo. Uh, 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 a lot of code while I was sitting here. Dude, please give it to me. Please. It's really bad. It'd be a hell of a I think if you change code after other people have presented, it's 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 not a good not a good uh, old man. <laughs> <laughs> We will set the doors however you want for your run. If someone insists on a retry. Yeah, but remember how shameful it's going to be if it doesn't help. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> 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 
Maybe you want to yeah. drive it up a little bit. Yeah, just give this team a close-up of Ben's goal up. Just a quick close-up. Get a good look at him right there. All right, I'll move him back now. All right, everyone, YouTube, this is Ben Swallow here. My name is John. This is James. He's actually off screen, so I'll move. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can explain the training. So basically what we did to uh, set up Ben Swallow here is we captured frames by driving around the office using just the WASD keys and then matching the frame with the uh, key at that actual timing. Uh, and then we use that to train or fine tune ResNet. Um, so if I go to the uh, B here, you can see um, we process some of the images and then basically fine tune the model from there. Uh, we didn't collect, end up collecting enough data because I wanted to do, use visual language models that we set up Blip2 um, on our AWS instance previously, but it ended up not working uh, and hallucinating a lot. So we ended up going with uh, this method. But we didn't collect a lot of data, so it's probably going to just crash into this wall here. So let's see. Maybe. We had a couple runs where it was all right, but it, we haven't tested in a little probably bit. Probably crash. Probably crash. The one thing that we did do that a lot of teams didn't use is we used Canny to filter out any possible issues with color, so it'll work both at night and in day. Well, it can crash into walls at both <laughs> night and day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, the other thing that we did that I don't believe anyone else is doing, we're actually running our code in AWS, which is getting streamed down to the device here through TailScale. TailScale is like a mesh VPN solution, so you can just install it on any device you want, and it just, boom, now works them together, you don't have to worry about anything. So hopefully the internet is stable enough and it all works. So without further ado, let's uh, give you a demo and show you what Ben Swallow can do. Yeah, the stream and AWS are going to be competing in this run. Or, uh, <laughs> bandwidth. We literally have fiber. We pay $5,000 a month. <laughs> Our workstations are genuinely 10 gigabit. <laughs> but, uh... All right, let's give it a go. Why? Which is worse? <laughs> a swallow going straight to the bench press. <laughs> that's, a, that's a bit ironic. It doesn't get to the gym. All right, here we go. Last and more. Oh, great. Go ahead. Oh, there it goes. Ben Swallow's. It's going to go straight to the camera. Oh, well. Can it fly? <laughs> One retry, one, uh, one manual correction. <laughs> yeah, we did this originally oh. when there were. Oh. 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 Nice. <laughs> we did this originally when there were a lot of food tables here. So yeah. the training data is a little right. bit messed start, up. Start after the food tables. We'll start yeah. after the food tables. Let's see if it goes right. Yeah, 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 let's just yeah, do yeah, one. Yeah. It's going to still crash. All right. For the entertainment value. It's so fast. It's so fast. Oh, oh. All right, you missed the checkpoint. Oh! <laughs> All, right. All right. All right. That's good for Team Ben Swallow. Woo! 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 Everything. <laughs> Chat PID. This is going to be tough, guys. This is going to be tough. Oh, oh. Um, I, let me just <laughs> make sure it's right. <laughs> yeah, 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 on the TV. Um, okay, I think uh, we're good. Yeah, don't oh, oh, do I need a presentation? You don't have to. I mean, yeah. I can present my depot. Yeah. yeah. Yes, please. Also written by Chat GPT. Is it? Yeah, is it a like ChatGPT dev post? Maybe. Actually, yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah, ChatGPT wrote the dev post. That's why it's like kind of nice. <laughs> As you can see. Oh, you want to see where I did it? Actually, I did it right here. <laughs> oh my gosh! So, uh, ChatGPT Chat wrote the code, too. <laughs> ChatGPT wrote the code, we're in cursor. Um, all right. <laughs> yeah, it's chat PID. <laughs> I guess LLM's doing controls. Um, it's kind of the future. I don't think so you guys. Go on and look and see the, the image you showed. Which one? The, the first one. That's the most relevant one. Right? This one? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, um, basically, I'm doing Sam, but I guess I'm dumb and I didn't know there was a mobile version. So I'm actually running it in a A100 on modal. 
Um, <laughs> so that would have been nice to know if you had told me that earlier. Um, uh, yeah. So PID P- P- is like a dollar a second or so. <laughs> so uh, and, yeah, just to go through it real quick. So we run the camera. <laughs> camera. Uh, we get this image, and then we run Sam, but Sam doesn't label, so I have a, a heuristic labeler, which is actually the first image. Um, that just gets floors and walls, based on how big it is. And then, and then That's I bu- how it works? Yeah. <laughs> Sam doesn't tell you the class? No. no. <laughs> it totally tells you the class. No, it doesn't. It's the color! It's, it's too much yeah, for you. It doesn't tell you what it is, though. It doesn't say floor. Just do it by yeah, green yeah, or something. That's, that's what I did. Green. That's what I did. Anyways, that's what I did. <laughs> yeah, <my God. laughs> that's, this is good, though. So this is the floor, and then walls, and then uh, blue is other stuff. And then, and then we get this and then we get a really nice ASCII <laughs> and then we feed this ASCII into chat GPT so um, it's you, yeah it's all in my cursor um, and the prompts like pretty pretty nice and easy uh, we, yeah yeah we can read some of the prompts so uh, let's see you're a self-driving model embodied as a five-foot-tall, two-wheeled robot. Uh, you're currently on a racetrack, and your task is to navigate. Um, I give here. I can show you the ASCII log. So I give it. It's this like the, the floor. This is its current location. I have like a top left, just so it kind of knows what's going on. Um, and yeah, this, this is what it sees. Holy um, shit! This task is a human. <laughs> yeah, it, well anyways, let's see what it does, I guess. Let's see what it does. So, we'll see in the bottom here what, what it's thinking, I guess. Um, so that's, there you go, so that's from, okay, so it wants to do, oh wait, it's, okay, this is the first, this should be the first one, I think. So we're running out. <laughs> is it using three or four? Four. GPT. Wow. Yeah. No, yeah, this part is all about spending money in the cloud. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so we got it. Ready? So W A W W A. It outputs the key. Yes, it outputs the key from the bottom. <laughs> so you can see. So it looks pretty good, right? The control loop's like roughly 0.01 hertz. <laughs> um, so it's going W. It won't. So. Um, we've made it pretty far before, but... Can you ask it to, like, explain what it's trying to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... Well, it says, it says, it says. So, so it makes a plan. So the plan last time was to move forward slightly, adjust to the left, stick to the left side of the track, uh, continue to move forward, make micro-adjustments. Uh, <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, what do you do? You drive down cars. <laughs> yeah, dude. So, okay. No, no. Is... Can you yell at it? Can oh, you when tell G- it? When GPT doesn't follow the right structure, it just goes backwards. <laughs> oh, so sorry. we got Linda list the next out of range. Can we can we get it to at least recover from going into the wall? How long is that gonna take? <laughs> let's 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 wait another thirty seconds. <laughs> <like, wait a laughs> <minute. laughs> I have ninety seconds. Yes. <laughs> what is that, $90? Um, There's actually an A100 thinking about this problem. <laughs> so we can see it think right here. Like, <laughs> 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 oh my that's my control loop time. Uh, oh, that's my A100 bill. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, uh, the numbers are crunching. <laughs> ChatGPT oh, 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 wrote this to extract most money.
Uh, I spent fifty dollars on modal and a hundred dollars on GPT four. Oh, Georgia, do you want to demo yours? Or uh... I can try. I don't think it's as good. I think the Blender can beat me. Oh, let's see it. If you can try it, let's try it. All right, George has a solution too that we're gonna so see if we can stop. I saw some people holding the thing like this, like they're walking up against the last wall Wait, like this. So I shamelessly copied their strategy, <laughs> um, and was like, with engineering prowess and pre-existing uh, knowledge of the comma code base, uh, maybe I can win. Um, it's open source right now on my GitHub under Body Loop. I also put it in speed mode for maximum entertainment. <laughs> so uh, we're going to see. We're just connected to the body here. Let's go in. Here's the first one to view that Yeah, so it just here, here it is. It's, you know, uh, it's called Common Body Loop Driver. I did all the training and inference in TinyGrad. Um, the thing that I'm most proud of is that I have control.py, and control.py can run seamlessly either on the device or on the computer and it'll loop it nicely on the computer, or it'll just run locally on the device. I didn't have to use the need. Uh, I just used the TinyJIT. So I collected a data set. Yeah, I can just, maybe I'll show you like what the data set looks like. Um, so like, this is an example of when you're too far to the right. Just recorded this data. What labels do you have? Is just like left I just right. labeled the entire video. This is a right video. There's left videos and right videos. Here I can show you a left video. Uh, for comparison. How many videos do you have in left and right? Um, so I gathered lots of videos and then I actually got it to drive the entire loop once during the day and once at night. Um, every time it would mess up, I would just record a mess up video. Um, so I can show you what these mess up videos look like. Like this is my data set here. So we can look at like mess up one. The mess up video is also going to be like one class or? Mess up videos are just one class. This is a mess up where you should be going more right. Uh, see? So like if it's over there, you should be going right. Okay. All right. Let's see if this works. So did, uh, you like, did you clip the mess ups to where they should have done something else? Yeah. That makes sense. So I, I put it in maximum speed mode. We got to compile the... Uh, the model here. Whoa. Wow. Very smooth. Uh, could not acquire media, permission denied. Uh, I missed the checkpoint. All right. <laughs> All right, let's go, Jeff. Jeff's got no interest in the gym whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jeff. We'll give him one more. Jeff is speedy. Let's go, oh. Jeff. <laughs> Jeff wanted to take a quick leak. Let's see if he does it. Oh, no. I'll give him more recovery, Mitchell. You can do the turn. Oh, no, nope. All right, he wants to go back. <laughs> so close. All right, let's carry him in. Too speedy. Yeah. All right, YouTube voted Jeff as second.
I did, yeah, I did, I did both of my complete loops at this speed. See, now it can actually make that turn. Yeah. I shouldn't have went for the high speed. <laughs> Let's see if he's interested in the gym now. Nah, nah. He really misses all the X's. Oh, he went oh, that no. way. Sometimes he goes that way. You want to correct it? Uh, it might correct itself. No. He doesn't like X's. I tried to train a generic model that would go like anyway. Yeah. So the problem with that is sometimes it goes that way. Outside wasn't too bad last time. I'll do it this time. Are you going to present, Mitchell? No, Jeff. Never mind, Jeff. You suck. You suck, Jeff. Where did you try to turn the day? Try to get back $100. Jeff kind of avoid obstacles, so. All right. And uh, we'll tweet a picture on uh, on our Twitter of the who will decide the winners are. So George is not eligible so for a common trial. Of of Jeff. I ran out of money on a lot of All right. <laughs> so, yeah, so thank you guys for coming all on the stream and uh, check in on our Twitter if you want to see who we decide the winners are. So buy a comma three X. It'll ship Monday. Buy a comma three X. Bye everyone. And buy a body. Bye Jeff. Bye Jeff. Wait, Jeff, Jeff, I'm trying to hide. Let's go. He just keeps grinding. Bye bye. <laughs>